What is up, car sales people? It is Christopher here from Cars Unlock. Today, we're gonna to be discussing how to smash it on the phone, book appointments so that you can sell more cars. My name is Christopher, this is Cars Unlocked, and I just wanna say thank you to everybody who reached out to me about car sales. This is kind of a branch off of my car sales training videos. A lot of you guys reached out to me asking me questions on Instagram, DMs, in the comments. Greatly appreciated, but I just wanna say thank you for that. And some of you requested that we talk about how to use the phone to sell more cars. And this is something that I pride myself in. I feel like I'm very good at using the phone and using the phone in car sales is key. So you guys need to learn and we're gonna go through some of the things that I've learned that's helped me book more appointments, help me sell more cars, and just talk about phone sales in general and how you can use the phone to crush more deals. So let's jump right into it. Basically, what I've always thought about in my life and what someone told me a long time ago that you guys should remember when you're selling cars is a good salesperson knows what to do when they have a customer in front of them. A great salesman knows what to do when they don't have a customer in front of you. So if you're not busy, you should be on the phone, you should be texting, calling, emailing your customers, and you should be knowing that you need to be booking appointments. We're gonna go through who you should be calling, how to make those calls, some different techniques I use on the phone that's helped me book more appointments and how you can increase your appointments and then we're gonna finish up with the follow-up. So let's jump right into starting who you should call. I've trained a handful of sales representatives and I've heard from other coworkers, things like that. A lot of people say when we ask about using the phone, they say, Chris, I don't have anybody to call. And that's nonsense. There's always someone to call. There's always people that you should be calling, someone you should be following up with. If you say you don't have someone to call, that's just your excuse for the right to be lazy. There's always someone to call. Service customers are great to call. You can ask your sales manager for a list of uh, maybe orphan customers, people who uh, haven't, don't, haven't, aren't assigned to a sales rep. Maybe their salesperson quit or their salesperson left. They're kind of orphan customers. House customers is another word that people call them. People coming in for service, you should be calling those people. They're coming in anyway, so those are the perfect people to call. Previous customers that you didn't close, previous ups that have come in, maybe you didn't close them on that day, you should be following up with them. Anybody you sold over a year ago, you can call them and ask them if they want to upgrade. And we're going to get into that right now. There's a lot of people that you can call, repeat customers, any internet leads that you have, there's always someone you can call and that's the one of my first steps is knowing that there's always someone to call. Let's jump into how you should be making these calls right away to start. So first thing that I like to do is I just want to let you guys know you should be efficient in these calls. I like to call from my cell phone. Sometimes I call from the dealership phone, the office phone. I change it up every now and then just so there's a few different numbers calling my customers. But I like to be efficient in my calls. And when I say be efficient in my calls, I use a CRM system that my dealership has provided for me so I can track all my phone calls and I can call the numbers quickly. Your dealership should have some sort of customer management system or CRM system that you use. And then in terms of efficiency, I also use a headset. So I have a, a wireless headset that connects to my phone via Bluetooth and that way I can call. It makes it a lot easier when I'm calling. For example, I can do things on my computer if I have the headset on while I'm typing. I can pull up information, pull up vehicle information while I'm talking to customers and I just don't always have to keep raising my phone to my ear, doing this, things like that. Get yourself a wireless headset and that's gonna also help you when you're making calls and make you more efficient. I also use different apps, um, text messaging assistant. So I use a, an Android phone, I use the Messages app, and basically it allows me to send text messages right from my desktop here, and that makes it a lot easier for me. I can quickly bang out text messages, I'm not always typing with my thumbs, and I also use different templates for emails and sending text messages for customers. Um, you'll find that when you're following up with customers, you're consistently repeating yourself in your emails and text messages. If you catch yourself repeating yourself many times, it's good to save those um, emails, templates, or those messages onto a clipboard or a document so that you can just copy and paste them into your text message assistant. That's what I do, it helps me uh, be more efficient. I use a Google extension, it's called Permanent Clipboard and essentially it allows me to save all different clips, 
onto my clipboard. I can just bang them off quickly. And all I have to change is really the customer's name um, with just follow up messages that I send to people. So also when you're on the phone, a big tip here guys, is you wanna have a positive tone. You wanna be excited when you're making phone calls. I'm excited to make this video for you. I also show the same excitement as I'm making calls. The positivity will flow through the phone and your customer will pick up on that positivity. If you're not looking forward to making calls or you're a little pissed off or you're monotone or you're not excited, you're not smiling, you're not talking with your hands, that's why a headset is a good thing. It will reflect through the phone and your customer won't get that positive call that you're looking to accomplish. So make sure your tone, your actions, everything is positive. You're smiling while you're doing it. I just like to make a game out of it. I like to have fun when I'm making phone calls. Sometimes I joke with my coworkers. Sometimes I joke with my customers and I'm calling and that positivity and that light heartedness reflects through the phone and makes it easier when you're booking appointments. You're gonna make making phone calls a daily habit of your car sales career. The phone is one of your biggest tools and you should just know that you're coming to work every day and you're gonna make phone calls. That's just make a habit of it, enjoy it. If you don't like using the phone um, every day, you're in the wrong uh, industry and you have the wrong career. You need to enjoy using the phone and you need to enjoy making phone calls and that positivity will reflect through the phone. Another tip that I have is just understanding what you're trying to accomplish when you're on the phone. So the biggest goal of the phone is not to sell the car, your goal is to book an appointment. So I've said this in my previous videos, you're in the appointment business, you're not in the car business. Your goal of every phone call is to book an appointment. So understanding that that's the goal, you're gonna be more effective. You're booking an appointment for the customer to come in and potentially purchase a car for you. You're not selling them the car over the phone, you're booking an appointment with them to come into the dealership over the phone. And I'm gonna get into how you can accomplish that. I'm gonna share something with you, a tool that I use when I first started in car sales that I still use to this day, that it's almost like a given script that I use when I'm making phone calls and it's helped me book so many appointments and it's helped me um, sell a lot of cars. So I'm gonna share this with you right now. It's extremely powerful for me and someone taught this to me a long time ago and I'm gonna pass this on to you guys. And that is using a confirmation code when making your calls. Your confirmation code is a code that you use when making calls to help increase um, your appointment ratio, increase your customers that will show up, increase the incentives that you have to offer, and also just give you a reason to make these calls and call these people. It can be used to target any types of customers that I mentioned earlier, from the service customers, from the repeat customers, from your internet leads, um, whatever type of leads that you have, fresh leads, follow up, it's gonna really help. So basically, you can create any sort of confirmation code you just wanna make something easy for you to remember, a confirmation code, and you're gonna call the customers and offer them this confirmation code as an exclusive discount that you're offering them for this sale. There's always some sort of sale going on at your dealership. We all know that being in car sales, there's a sale every month, Black Friday, Boxing Week, Summer Clear Out Event, 2021 Clear Out Event, whatever the sale is, you're gonna use this confirmation code. Essentially, you're gonna call your customer and say, hello, Mr. and Mr. Customer. This is Christopher from ABC Motors Customer Service. I like to say I'm from Customer Service, so it doesn't sound a little sales pitchy. This is Christopher from ABC Motors Customer Service. I got great news for you today. Uh, we have this exclusive con confirmation code given from our manufacturer that's gonna unlock some savings if you wanna come into the dealership and participate in our so-and-so sales event, our Black Friday event, or our clear out event and upgrade your vehicle. Basically, the confirmation code will work on something like that. Um, a real life example, like no matter what, you're gonna use the sale, but I would say, hello, Mr. and Mr. Customer, this is Christopher. Here's your confirmation code. Do you have a pen handy? Write this confirmation code down. CUZ457-2021. We're gonna have you bring this confirmation code in. It's gonna unlock some exclusive sales event savings for you if you're interested in upgrading your vehicle. When is your next day off? You're available to come to the dealership. Okay, great, you're available Tuesday. Now Tuesday, would you prefer morning or afternoon? Okay, great morning. I have a 9.15 or 10.15 available. Which time works for you? 10.15, perfect, Mrs. Customer. I'm gonna lock in that 10.15 and we're gonna send you an email confirmation of your appointment. Please bring in the confirmation code and we'll unlock 
your savings when you come in and we run the code. It will give you access to our exclusive sales event. So that works great. You'll notice some of the word tracking that I use is very important, which I'm gonna to get to in a second, but it's very fast. It doesn't give the customer a match time to think about what they're doing. They just wanna book it in and use the exclusivity of the confirmation code and book an appointment with you. And then you're gonna follow up with them and send them a confirmation. You might be wondering um, like where do the discounts come from for the confirmation code? Uh, well, I'm assuming your dealership is the same as mine, but at my dealership, there's always some sort of discount to offer the customers. We always have some sort of sale, some sort of loyalty event, oil change promotions. We always have something. And when the customer comes in, we take their confirmation code. I say, great news, Mr. And Mr. Customer. I ran your confirmation code and you were unlocked maybe free oil changes for three years, or you unlocked a free set of floor mats with your car purchase. You unlocked a $500 discount. You unlocked a thousand dollar loyalty savings, whatever discount you you can work out or you want to work out with your management staff you can run the code and you can unlock it we can go through some objections some customers say might ask you on the phone well what does the confirmation code get me right away you'll want to say to them it works as like a scratch lottery ticket where we don't know what it unlocks until you bring it in and we run it and we attach it to the vehicle that you choose to upgrade to. So we need you to come in, pick out a vehicle, evaluate your trade and we'll run your confirmation code and then we'll, it will unlock some savings to you. And you need to hype up the confirmation code when your appointment shows up and this will just give them some urgency to buy. So it's very fast. Use the confirmation code. If you guys have questions about the confirmation code, I can get into more detail. Just send me a DM and I'd be more than happy to ask you guys or answer any of your questions you guys have about the confirmation code. But you'll notice in the example that I use, some of the word tracking that I use. So this is just a few closing tips that I have for you guys when using the confirmation code or just calling customers in general. You wanna only ask open-ended questions. So you'll notice when I use that example, I said to them, when is your next day off? Not when can you come in? If you say, when can you come in? The customer might say, oh, I'm busy all week or this and that. But if you say, when is your next day off? No matter what day they say to you, they're gonna instantly think, oh, my day off is Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday works for me. What do you prefer, morning or afternoon? Instead of asking them what time works for them, they might say, oh, I'm busy all day. If you say, do you prefer morning or afternoon? No matter what answer to your question is a positive answer for you. Okay, Mr. Customer, you're available in the morning. I have a 9.15 or a 10.15. Giving them two options, both answers that you wanna hear, instead of asking them what time works for you, they might say, oh, I'm unsure of the time, I'll let you know. But if you just tell them, I have a 9.15 or a 10.15, it's gonna be nice, easy, quick, painless option for creating an appointment because no matter what option they say, it's an answer that you wanna hear. So keep that in mind, always ask, questions that have two answers that are both positive answers, open-ended questions. Um, the next thing you wanna do is confirm your appointments. So right after you get off the phone with your customer and you book an appointment using the confirmation code or you don't use the confirmation code, send them a text message or an email. Pleasure talking to you on the phone. This is Christopher where I'm confirming your appointment for Tuesday at 9.15. This is the address. Please let me know if anything changes. That's key. Sending that email right away so they have it in writing. They know, okay, I've booked in my appointment. I'm locked in. I got to bring in my confirmation code. And then it wouldn't hurt to follow them, uh, follow up with them the night before or maybe the day, the day before and just confirm their appointment so that they're coming in. Maybe they need to reschedule. But confirming your appointment is big, guys. And also following up with your customers if they don't show for their appointment is also big. Another key thing that I learned is never to turn down any appointments. I'll book myself seven appointments at the same time if I have to. If I'm on the phone with a customer and they say I wanna come in at 9.15 and I have another customer scheduled at nine, I'm not gonna say, oh, can you change it to 9.45? I'm not gonna adjust my schedule for them. I'm just gonna lock in the appointment because I know customers come, sometimes they don't come, sometimes they come late, sometimes they come early. So I just try to book as many appointments as I can. And if two customers show up at the same time, I'll deal with it at that time and I'll roll with the punches, but that rarely happens. Just book as many appointments as you can. Don't be concerned about overlapping appointments or the time frame. just book as many as you can because you know things will change the day of. Customer might come early, later, that's pretty much a, a quick rundown of how I use the confirmation code, guys. Hopefully this explained a lot. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you guys have questions, send me a DM on Instagram at CVamWeekend. 
comment in the comment section subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing more sales videos like this and if you guys need help with anything i'm here for you guys hopefully we can learn and grow together and i love hearing some of your guys comments of what you guys use on the phone how you've been successful on the phone um, and what's worked for you so that we can give that information to some of our other sales guys and sales women here so to all my salespeople out there thank you so much for watching enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one have a great day